SmartSuite's new dashboards are incredibly powerful, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can link multiple things together in a dashboard, allowing your users to click into orders, into line item details, and get all the information they need on one screen. If learning how to consolidate all of your information in one place is of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting. It's our mission to help you unlock the full potential of no-code tools and allow you to build anything and get out of spreadsheets. If you want to learn more about this, the key starting place is understanding automation. I first want to invite you to join me for some automation training. I put together this free training that you can sign up for at gapconsulting.io slash webinar dash registration. It doesn't matter what tool you're using inside of no code, the same rules apply for building no code automation. And you'll be glad that you understand the fundamentals so that you can start reclaiming your time. But without further ado, let's get to the heart of this video. We want to talk about putting together this amazing dashboard inside of SmartSuite. But first, as we always do on this channel, we have to understand the back end. How did we connect everything? What's our data schema? Let's start there and then we will build this amazing dashboard. So inside my screen here, follow along with me. If you don't already have SmartSuite, please consider signing up using our affiliate link. But here we are, I've got four key tables. I'm inside of this makeshift solution called client orders, and we have clients, orders, line items, and then the inventory itself. So let's just quickly take a look at what we have. Of course, on our clients table, I've set up a very rudimentary place where we just have the names of our clients and this connects to our orders because when an order is made, it's done on behalf of a client. Next, over here in orders, you can see that we have linked to two places. We've linked to the client, so who ordered this thing, but also linked to the order line items. And this is showing us the itemization breakdown of what was put onto that order. They can have just one thing that they order. They can order more than one. But of course, we also need to know what that order total is, and we've used a formula here to basically do a roll up or a summation of all of the line item totals in our next table. So bear that in mind, we're gonna head on into the order line items now. Inside of the line items, we're connecting to both the order and then also to the inventory item itself. That's our fourth table. So here you can see on order one, we have three different line items. This particular client has ordered pine, walnut, and spruce trees from us. And we've got our different quantities here. We're also bringing in the price over here. This price is coming in from the inventory table. And then using the quantity and the price, we can write a simple formula to understand what the line item total is. And that's what you see right here. So if we think back to our orders, we were basically doing a summation of all of the line item totals. So the line item total is derived from the quantity and the price of the unit. And then the line item totals are all added up for a particular order. And that's how we get our total on the orders page. Now, last table, really quickly, our inventory table is pretty straightforward. This is bare bones stuff just to get the basics here. And we've got our different inventory items, the four different types of trees that we sell with the price of those items. So that's it for our schema. Now let's talk about the amazing front end. Now this that I'm gonna show you is going to apply to any different ordering system that you can put together inside of SmartSuite. So I'm gonna start by going all the way back to the client's level. The idea here is I want a dashboard where my employees, my staff can go in, click on a client, view the client's various orders, drill into the order, view the various line items, and then make adjustments as needed. That's what we're gonna be building in this dashboard, so let's get to work. So from the client's table on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm gonna click on down to dashboard view. So I'm creating a new view, and I'm using the new and improved dashboards from SmartSuite. If you haven't tried these out yet, you're gonna be very impressed. They are incredibly versatile, allowing you to bring a lot of data into one place. So over here, I'm going to add a widget, but do note that I have some other more advanced features I can do by clicking on the settings here. I can add navigation to my dashboard, including multiple tabs, including logos, action buttons, bringing in a footer, changing the style. I have so many different available options here to really customize the look and feel of this. 
Now, for our purpose here, I want to get to the bare bones of this. I want to really dive into the functionality, so I'm going to focus on that. But do know that you have a lot of flexibility in terms of how this shows up. So closing down our settings, let's add our first widget. I'm looking for a record picker. If we scroll on down here and collapse the page display, I can then click on record display. And this is where I get the ability to select a record. And I want to start with selecting a client. So I'll call this client selector. And I don't need to include a description, although I could. Now I'm telling it what the source of the data is. And since we started from the client's table, that's what's defaulting here. I want to then adjust how this looks. So I don't want the uh, selection drop down. In fact, I like it when instead I get a list of all the items and then someone can just click on an item in the list. I feel like this is a cleaner look. I'm going to go with a neutral background here. Let's go back to style. Note that we can also add more information to the actual components. I can filter what shows up on this list. So maybe I'm saying only bring in my clients that are currently active or something like that. I can then go into my selection dropdown and opt to display certain fields. So I might say I want to see uh, the address or the phone number of a client in this. Now for our purposes, I don't have that much data. So I'm going to stick with just the name of the client. Now to add this widget. Note that I will be able to connect widgets in a moment. We're not there just yet. So this is our first one. Let's add the widget. Now that we have our widget, we can resize it, reshape the way that we're putting the screen together. Make sure that you're in edit mode to do this. We'll toggle edit mode on. Now when we hover over the different widgets, we can resize them, make them taller, shorter, whatever the case may be. And now I can select from my different clients. All right, next, we want to be able to see when I select a client, show me the orders that belong to that client. So we're going to add our second widget. Here we're going to go collapse the page display again, go back to record display. We're going to pick a second record selector, and this time it's going to be the order selector. Now coming down to the source, we don't want the source to be clients because what we want is whatever client we picked in our selector for clients, that is going to drive what orders we show here. So now we're going to say the source for this second record selector is our first record selector, the client selector. We make that selection and now when we are asked to know, well, what's the linked record here? We say it's the link to orders. Remember our clients link to our orders, our orders link to also our clients and line items. So let's go into the link to orders now. And you'll see that I get a list of the orders here. So let's just for verification, bring in some more information. Remember that we can add more information on our fields here. I want to add a field that shows us the client as well. So you can see here, when we do this in our list, we get the number of the order, but also the client that it belongs to. And all of these orders belong to the same client because we'll have selected that client on the previous selector. All right, let's go ahead and collapse this down again. I'm going to go to the style here. I'm going to change it to list and neutral. I just like the look of this. I can also do custom, bring in a little bit of color maybe. I'm going to add that widget and here we go. It's down here at the bottom of my screen. I need to resize it so that I can see everything next to itself. So. Here we go, we've got the start of this now built. It's coming along pretty quickly. And you'll notice if I toggle this off and go into view mode, that if I select Acme, I see only the orders that belong to Acme. If I pick Beta, what do you know? Just the orders that belong to Beta, Delta, Echo, etc. So this is pretty good stuff. Now let's take it one layer deeper. I want to add the line item detail for the order that I've selected. So I pick the first thing, I pick the second thing, I go client, then order. Now it's time to see the detail. So let's add another widget. One last time I'm going to collapse the page display and bring up the record display. And now I want to see those record details. So I'm going to say, I just call this record details. We have to tell it what the source of this is. And in our case, the source, of course, is the order selector. This is our second selector that we picked. So it's pretty linear the way we built this. First selector, then when we build the second selector, it the source is the first one. When we build the third item here, the third element, the source is the second selector. So here we're going to the second selector. Let's go to the fields and decide what we're showing here. We're going to click on add field and we will add all the information about this order. In this case, we've got the client, 
We've got the link to the order line items. We have the order total. And uh, I guess we could bring in the order number as well. Note that we can resize these things. And we can also choose what the field width is inside of the record details. So this particular element allows us to really move things around and get a nice view of how we want to look at things. Let's say, for example, I wanted my order total to be closer to my order number. I can reorder that just here on the right hand side. And again, when I'm inside of these different elements, I can choose if they're going to be the full width of the entire screen, which is four columns or I can shrink them down. So if I wanna say, look, I want the order to be two and maybe the order, order total to also be two columns, you see now that they take up the full space on that row. So go ahead and play around with this and bring it in in the way that makes the most sense for you. Again, I'm gonna bring in some color here and add the widget. And now of course it's brought to the bottom of the screen, full width, let's shrink it down. And I'm going to then be able to relocate this up to the side. Now, this is only half screen because of the fact that I've got my selectors on the other side. So if I want my order number and my order total to be next to each other, I have to re-edit this, go back into these fields and actually knock them down to one. So it's half of the uh, value, which is half of the screen, right? So we need to make sure to shrink this down in order for them to actually show up side by side. But there it is. Now we have the ability with just a few clicks to drill into all of the information within the different clients and orders that they have. So when we're done here, of course, we go into view mode and now we can select a client that will automatically filter the order selector down to the orders that are assigned to that client. So we see just those. Then we can click into these. Let's say order number 007. And there it is, there are the details. We can see who the client is. We can see what the line item details is. And we have all the information at our fingertips. Now bear in mind that the most impressive thing about these new smart suite dashboards is that when we share them with people on our team, whatever permission level they have will be carried through into the dashboard. So if they cannot edit data, even if we say they can edit data in the dashboard, if their user cannot edit data, they won't be able to edit it here. If they're not allowed to see something, if they're not allowed to see records that they're not assigned to, they won't even see those clients showing up here. So the permissions in Smart Suite are top notch inside the no-code industry. They carry through even to these dashboards so that when we're sharing them with our team, we are making sure to keep privacy top of mind. I know we went pretty quickly in this video. There is a lot to cover with these amazing new dashboards. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite parts were and if you got lost anywhere where I can shed some extra light. Of course, if you got value from the video, please consider liking and subscribing, but most importantly, keep on building.